Okay, so I want to do something a little different with this video. Either way, welcome Guardian, I'm undead, and I got a uh, Solar Warlock build for you, utilizing Phoenix Protocol. So of course, Solar Subclass, and first thing to note, there's only two sections that are important. Your Super, the Wall Radiance for Phoenix Protocol, and your Fragments. We'll go over that in a minute. So, your abilities, they don't matter. Uh, keep in mind this is a heavy Scorch based build, so choose to your liking. Obviously most grenades, if not all, apply some kind of Scorch except for healing grenades. And your aspects don't matter. So use the ones you like, because they all supply four fragments when you have two on. Now, to get into the fragments, Ember of Char, your solar ignition spreads Scorch to affected targets. Final blows with your solar super causes targets to ignite. Rapidly defeating multiple targets with a solar ignition generates an orb of power. You apply more Scorch stacks to targets, Ember of Ashes. Also, one thing I do want to keep in mind, Ember of Wonder can be changed out with blistering if you want more grenades. Solar Ignitions grants grenade energy. Now, this build is circled around Scorching and Ign Ignitions in general, so applying more uh, Scorch stacks is always good. Your ignition spreading scorch helps a lot and generating orbs just in general to help you get your super energy back afterwards. Now the final blow is what your solar super cause targets to ignite. When you're in a well your weapons are considered super damage. The element of your weapon still matters so you're gonna need solar weapons. Getting into the weapons, I got a bunch on me right now. Vex, Polaris Lance, Zelus Bane, Callus Mini Tool, Retrace Path, just to make a couple examples. Now, the important thing though is Incandescent. But I'll tell you why in one second. First, I want to show you something else. Solar weapon, doesn't matter which one, supposedly, assumingly one without incandescent. You use the well. And you got an ignition, just from one kill. But, you use something with incandescent, You're applying two different sets of scorches. Now it's not going to cause an ignition, but you got big enough crowds, and you're really going to see them chaining together. So the armor mods are similar to what I said about the abilities and aspects. You can kind of go any route you want because the main goal is super energy so you can keep those wells running so super energy return mods like ashes at assets on solar pieces if you had an arc piece you know hands-on would work obviously we're not using this dynamo on void absolution is a good mod to have on your boots because that gives you a little bit more super energy when you pick up orbs and hopefully a harmonic siphon on your helmet as well to make more orbs from your solar weapons so go nuts with your elemental well mods charge with light mods doesn't matter all that stuff completely up to you guys just 
have stuff for super energy return, and then go nuts with the rest of your abilities. And the point of this build is to get kills with solar weapons that have incandescent. That kill will cause incandescent to spread Scorch, and that enemy will ignite, causing to spread more Scorch to anything around it. Every time you get a kill with the, or a double kill with the ignition, that's going to generate an orb. If you get a double kill with just your weapon, that's going to generate an orb. Go around, pick up the orbs, use grenades to generate more orbs and super energy and rinse and repeat. More enemies equals more super energy. The more teammates, the better. Because they will generate orbs. Just like that. And you'll be able to keep a steady flow going alongside your teammates. I know this video is a little different from when I normally do them. I really didn't go off a script. I kind of just recorded and talked. Uh, probably not going to do another video like this. But either way, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the build or found any use to anything I just said, please uh, consider dropping a like and maybe subbing to the channel. It greatly helps me out, helps the channel out. And I still have no idea what I'm doing with these videos. But either way, I do appreciate that some of you guys actually watch a little bit at least. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.